Assalamu alaikum. My dear students of honors fourth year, today we are going to learn the famous novel A uh, Tale of Two Cities. It is our fifth class. We were present in our last four classes, four classes. Now we are going to enjoy fourth class on a uh, tale of two cities. So without wasting time, let's start. Today we will discuss on the summary of the famous novel A Tale of Two Cities written by Charles Dickens. It is 1775 and Mr. Jarvis Lorry is traveling to Dover to meet Lucy Manette. In our previous class, I told you about Jarvis Lorry, but I am going to repeat it. Jarvis Lorry was the guidance of Lucy Manette in absence of, of her father, Dr. Manette. However, in 1775, Mr. Jarvis Lorry is traveling to Dover to meet Lucy Manity. He tells her that, oh, one more thing to add here, that is Jarvis Lorry was serving in Telsam Bank and uh, uh, the bank was from London, but uh, he used to live in Paris and he looked after Lucy Manity, the heroine of the novel. However, he tells her that she is not an orphan, as she had been told from a young age. Lucy Manity was taught to learn that she is an orphan, she is an orphan, but actually Lucy Manity was not an orphan because she had father. Her father was imprisoned by Avermont family uh, unlawfully, unethically. But Lucy Manity knew that uh, she has no father, no mother. But today, Jarvis Lorry discloses everything, discloses everything to Lucy Manity that uh, she is not an orphan, she has a father. He now says that he will travel with her to Paris to meet her father. And he also tells her that if you uh, want to see your father, if you want to uh, meet your father, you can go with me uh, to Paris because your uh, father uh, has been imprisoned for 18 years in Bastille Fort. Dr. Manity is housed in Defarge's wine shop and has lost his reason, but he starts to regain it when he meets his daughter and transported back to London. Accordingly, uh, Jarvis Lorry took Lucy Manity to meet her father and they meet in Defarge's wine shop. This very wine shop uh, is said to be the plot maker place for French Revolution. Anyway, uh, when Lucy Manity met her father, she saw that uh, her father has lost the order of uh, sense, or she he has been mentally disordered. But seeing her own daughter, she started regain uh, his senses. He started curing his uh, mental disorderedness. However, five years later, Charles Darnay is tried in London on a charge of treason for providing English secrets to the France and Americans during the outbreak of the American Revolution. Okay, I told you about Charles Darnay, who is the hero of the novel, but 
uh, he was from uh, aristocratic society and in the French, French revolution the lower class uh, uh, defeated the aristocratic, uh, aristocratic and accordingly they wanted to kill Charles Darnay and I uh, told you about Charles Darnay details in my uh, last classes. However, today we will see here that five years later Charles Darnay is tried in London on charge of treason for providing English secrets to the France and Americans during the outbreak of the American Revolution. When the American Revolution uh, outbroke, Charles Darnay was arrested in uh, London because uh, he was accused of spies, spying. The court was telling that Charles Darnay is a spy and that's why he uh, has been taken under trial. The dramatic appearance of Sidney Carton who looks remarkably, remarkably like him precludes any positive identification and allows Darnay's acquittal. When Charles Darnay was arrested and he uh, had been under trial and uh, everybody or every witnesses uh, assured that he is really a uh, criminal that's why he should be sentenced to death at this moment Sidney Carton found out that uh, he is uh, he is his look alike that's why there may be a mistake uh, it is uh, the people or the eyewitnesses witnesses looked Sidney Carton not Charles Darnay in this way Charles Darnay escaped from sentencing to death okay Darnay Mr. Carton and Mr. A, a Striver all fall in love with Lucy Manity, who was a truthful, unwilling witness for prosecution. When Lucy Manity was called on uh, to give his uh, eyewitnessing in front of the court, but uh, Lucy Manity was not willing uh, to give Charles Darnay a uh, death sentence. Although they will make an attempt to woo her, she favors Charles Darnay and marries him. Sidney Carton, the lawyer striver, Charles Darnay, everybody fell in love with Lucy Manity. And they started offering or giving proposal hard to fall in love with them but uh, Lucy Manity didn't like Charles Darnay or Striver uh, she liked sorry she didn't like uh, Sidney Carton and Striver she rather she liked Charles Darnay and accordingly married him Carton comes to her house alone and declares that while he expects no return of his love Carton comes to her house Sydney Carton alone and declares that while he expects no return of his love he would do anything for her for anyone whom she loves when Lucy Manity didn't accept uh, Sydney Carton's love then Sydney Carton declared that she can he can do anything for the sake of his love and he can sacrifice anything uh, for the uh, shake of love to Lucy Manity and accordingly uh, in the end or at the end we see that Sidney Carton sacrificed his life for the shake of saving Lucy Manity's husband, husband's life however we will uh, discuss it later on let's proceed or go on Darnay has ominously hinted to Dr. Manity of his concealed identity 
and he reveals to his father-in-law on the morning of his wedding that he is a French nobleman who has renounced his title. But uh, when uh, they were uh, getting uh, married, Charles Darnay disclosed his identity that uh, he was from aristocratic family. Lucy's father, Dr. Manity, didn't or doesn't like the aristocratic family or the members of aristocratic family. That's why uh, Dr. Manity didn't want to marry off her daughter to Charles Darnay. But as Lucy Manity loved Charles Darnay, Dr. Manity for her sake, only for her sake, agreed to marry off her daughter to Charles Darnay. Meanwhile, Charles Darnay also renounced or left his aristocratic title. He left everything from his family and wanted to marry Lucy Manity. In France, Darnay's uncle, Monsieur, has been murdered in his bed for crimes against the French people. Charles Darnay's uncle, who was the uh, ever he was the leader of Evermont family, or you can say uh, he was, was the duke, who committed uh, two crimes on the road when he was or while he was coming from a party. He killed a young boy on the street by his caravan or by his car. And he also uh, misbehaved with a widow. Then the lower class people became angry with him and accordingly killed him in his bedroom. This means that Darnay is next in line to inherit the aristocratic title, but he tells no one but Dr. Manity. But accordingly, Charles Dar Darnay became the inheritant of this uh, Evermont family, but Charles Darnay didn't take it. He renounced his title. At the urgent request of Monsieur Gable, who has been arbitrarily imprisoned, Darnay returns to Paris. When Monsieur Gabelle uh, was imprisoned, Darnay came back to Paris. He is arrested as a nobleman and an emigrant and thrown to jail. But when he came to Paris, he was arrested and he was sent to jail. At the time, a spy named John Barshad drops into the Defarge's wine shop to gather evidence regarding whether they are revolutionaries. They reveal practically nothing, although Madame Defarge is meeting a list of those whom she and other revolutionaries intended to kill. This is very Madame Defarge. Uh, about whom I told you in my last class, last classes, uh, he always meets. Actually, he doesn't meet with wool. He, the meeting of wool is a symbol, but uh, the inner meaning of this meeting, he always, she always plans to kill uh, some aristocratic people, and he makes, and she makes list uh, for this killing. Dr. Manity, Miss Pross, Lucy, and her small child follow Darnay to Paris, where Doctor is almost successful in using his power among the revolutionaries as a former Bastille prisoner. Like the people, he was oppressed by ruling regime to secure Darnay's release. Dr. Manisi, Miss Pross, Lucy, and her small child follow Darnay to Paris. Along with Darnay, 
Dr. Manity, Miss Pross. Miss Pross was the governess of Lucy when she was a child. And her small child followed Arne to Paris, where the doctor is almost successful in using power among the revolutionaries as former Bastille prisoner, like the people he was oppressed by the ruling regime, secured Darnay's release. Dr. Manetti, now the father-in-law of Charles Darnay, he wanted to save Charles Darnay's life and tried to make understand the revolutionaries that Charles Darnay is my son-in-law and I have been misjudged, I have been suffered for so many years, as many as 18 years uh, for the lower classes sheikh and the aristocratic tortured me severely. Regarding this or considering this issue, please forgive my son-in-law. All the revolutionaries uh, wanted to agree with uh, agree with Dr. Manity. But Darnay is once again denounced by the Defarges, a charge which is made even stronger by Monsieur Defarges' revelation of a paper document that she found in Dr. Manetti's former cell in Bastille. But Madame Defarge didn't agree with this proposal. He wanted to prosecute Charles Darnay. The document recounts that Manetti was arbitrarily imprisoned by the Evermonts for having witnessed their rape of a peasant girl and the murder of her brother. The Everman family killed a country girl, sorry, raped a country girl and her brother saw it. As her brother saw it and he protested against it, they killed her brother. And uh, Dr. Manity came to know it. Because of this offense, Dr. Manity was sent to jail as he cannot disclose anything to others. Darnay is brought back to prison and sentenced to death. And for this crime, the Everman family's descender Charles Darnay was taken in prison and they gave him death sentence. Sidney Carton also has traveled to Paris because of the selfless love that Lucy Manity has inspired in him. Sidney Carton also has traveled to Paris because of the selfless love that Lucy Manity has inspired in him. Sidney Carton at that moment went to Paris to rescue Charles Darnay or to save Charles Darnay's life because he gave word to Lucy he could sacrifice anything for the sake of his love. That's why if he sacrifices his life to save uh, his beloved's husband, it, it would be a great sacrifice. Uh, for the sheikh of his love or to show, to show respect to his love. He resolves to sacrifice himself to save her husband's life. He forces the help of John, John Bar Barshad. He forces the help of John Barshad. Having recognized him as Solomon Pross, the dissolute brother of Miss Pross, Carton overhears the Defarges discussing a plan to kill Lucy and her child and he figures out the Madame Defarge figures out that Madame Defarge is surviving sister of the peasant girl who was raped and one of the boy who was stepped by the Evermoon family. This very Madame Defarge who was very much hostile to the aristocratic has been identified 
as the sister of this raped girl and as the sister of this killed murdered boy that's why madam defarge wanted to take revenge carton arranges for the manatees to leave immediately carton sent back manatee dr manatee lucy manatee and her family he uses his influence with barshad who also works as a turnkey this very barshad was a turnkey that means inspector of a prison to get into darna cell and with the help of this turnkey barshad sydney carton manages to enter into the cell of darna charles darna he drags darna and exchanges places him with ha, uh, him having barshad carry darna out of the prison to safety he dragged charles darna and exchanges places with him a uh, pushing drug he dragged charles darna and exchanged him that means he escaped managed to escape charles darna from this prison and he took place char he took darna's place to be killed or to be sentenced to death because he loved lucy manatee and uh, he wanted to show the supreme sacrifice to lucy manatee's happy life madam defarge knocks on lucy's door to arrest her but the manatees have already fled to safety but with the assistance of Sidney Carton, the Manatee family, left in a safe place. She is instead confronted with extremely protective Miss Frost. At this moment, uh, there is a clash between Miss Frost and Madame de Farge, who comes to blows with her and accidentally shoots her dead with her own gun. In this conflict or in this clash, there is a fire and the bullet pierced miss process breast rather than uh, uh, sorry uh, madam defarge's uh, breast rather than miss pross accordingly and in this way madam defarge died when she went to kill lucy manatee's family darnay returns uh, with the manatees to london in safety and the next day sydney carton was sentenced to death he was beheaded beheaded everybody thought that this very sydney carton is charles darnay and accordingly sydney carton sacrificed his life for the sake of his love and charles darnay was escaped in this way carton dies in darnay's place at gulaton satisfied with the knowledge of his good deed in my next class i will discuss about the theme of this novel no more today i wish you a very good luck and healthy life thank you very much